Nel 1977 il regista produttore George Lucas creò la trilogia di Guerre Stellari e cambiò il nostro modo di guardare il cinema. Ora, vent'anni dopo, con l'ausilio della nuova tecnologia digitale, Lucas e le equip creative della Lucasfilm, THX, Skywalker Sound e Industrial Light and Magic hanno completamente restaurato, migliorato e ampliato questi film classici creando l'edizione speciale della trilogia di Guerre Stellari. Per il secondo film della trilogia, L'Impero colpisce ancora, Lucas ha curato l'inserimento di nuovi materiali e l'ampliamento di molte importanti scene e ambientazioni del film. Once I started to redo the first film, uh, it became um, such a good experience that I said, well, gee, we should go back and finish the other two films too. Io non ho paura. Tu l'avrai. One of the problems I had is one of the sequences with the Wampa Ice Monster The, the monster that was developed originally didn't work, so I had to jettison that monster. Uh, and um, I had Phil Tippett create a little tiny hand puppet, which we were able to use in two shots, which was just the head. And we just did it at the last minute to stick it in. But the rest of the sequence was sort of cut around the monster, where you hear it, but you don't see it. And there's a certain uh, creative way of doing that. I mean, you can do it where you don't see the monster. And some people would say that's more artistic than actually showing it. But in this particular case, I really wanted to see the monster. And I felt it would add more tension to the scene and make it more interesting. Um, so we were able to do that. I was able to go back, uh, create a better version of the monster, and shoot the scene and all the, the cutaways to the monster and add them into the scene, which I think makes that, that ice scene make more sense than it, than it did before. <laughs> The snow battle was a challenge when we did it because nobody had ever done uh, blue screen matting on a white surface. You usually do it on dark surfaces. Here we go then. Action! <laughs> We used optical technology, of course, to, to do all that compositing. And a telltale sign that something's been optically composited is a black line around it. And when you have a sequence that takes place in outer space against stars, it's easy to reach a point where those black lines don't show up. But when you have a sequence that takes place against snow in the daylight, every hint of that, that black mat line becomes very visible. And so the first time through doing the, doing the snow battle here uh, 17 years ago, a lot of effort went into finding ways to minimize that black line. One of the ways was to not print all of the elements at their full opacity. Attacchiamo, pronti! Consequently, when you see the snow battle on film, you may notice that there's part of the, the scenery is visible through the cockpit and it was a constant trade-off of how transparent can we make the cockpit at what point is the black line more objectionable than the transparency and so there was uh, an opportunity to go back into those shots use the computer technology and eliminate all the transparency but also not have any matte lines <laughs> The other issue was going into Cloud City. It was, Cloud City was a very difficult thing uh, to design and create originally as a floating city in the clouds. Uh, some of the mat work there wasn't very good. And when they built the set, it's very confined. It's a very small set. It doesn't look out onto anything. It's just, you get this, it's a very claustrophobic kind of set. And that always bothered me. I, I wanted to be more open, see more of the city. And so what we've done is we've Uh, added to the approach of the city, similar to what we did with Mos Eisley in Star Wars. I mean, there's many more shots coming up to the city. You get to see more of the city. You get to see more uh, uh, speeders and those sorts of things. And then at the same time, when they land and they start walking through the city, now they walk through and there's large windows. You can see out and see more of the city. And it just it opens it up and make it, makes it much larger. Be able to pull back and see these grand visions of balconies and the city beyond and all that kind of stuff. To do that before was almost impossible. And now we can do it, we're doing it, you know, we have moving shots, we have all kinds of things that they just weren't able to do before. It just was not possible up until uh, a few years ago. Perché mio alleato è la forza ed un potente alleato è sei. Ora sedetevi comodi e preparatevi a gustarvi la visione definitiva dell'Impero colpisce ancora, la seconda parte dell'edizione speciale della trilogia di Guerre Stellari.